How about a check of our forecast here locally with meteorologist Danny Beckstrom. Hot, hot, hot all week <laughs> long. How hot are we today, Danny? That sums it up. We're close to 110 today, but it's the coolest of the next six days as an excessive heat warning goes into effect. It takes us until next Tuesday, so this time next week to drop below 110. So a string of very seriously hot days ahead of us. Mandalay Bay camera showing a little sunshine. Cloud cover still mixing in, but of course the, the main focus of today's weather going to be the heat. 110 is where we're sitting right now at McCarran. Same for West Henderson and North. Las Vegas 114 in Overton 113 for Lake Mojave 108 in Pahrump starting tomorrow morning though that's when the excessive heat warning and heat advisories go into effect starting each at 8 a.m. lasting through Monday night at 8 p.m. for the heat advisory that includes the sheep range and the spring mountains Red Rock Canyon we could see highs anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees through the weekend the excessive heat warning for the rest of the region showing high temperatures between 114 and 120 degrees 120 degrees for the Colorado River Valley the Las Vegas Valley between 110 and 115. Again, this is a long duration event starting tomorrow, lasting through early next week, and you can blame this ridge of high pressure for that. It's quieting us down. Our wind speed is calm and the cloud cover is clearing, but of course, really turning up the heat on the other side of the country. The opposite problem. We are tracking tropical storm Elsa, which is expected to re strengthen into a category one hurricane as it makes its approach. Landfall is expected overnight into tomorrow morning for the Big Bend region, uh, the Gulf Coast of Florida, but up and down the West Coast of Florida. These are really flood prone areas. In addition to the two to three inches of rainfall, uh, we've already seen a very productive rainy season for them so far this year. So the ground is already saturated, which really leads to issues uh, with downed trees, considering gust speeds will be in that 75 to 80 mile per hour range. And then the roots are loose due to the wet ground uh, that tends to lead to power outages. So this is a serious situation developing across the southeast. Elsa then will turn north and east, head up through the Carolinas before pushing back into the Atlantic. So we're watching that closely, but again, we have the opposite problem here. We're too dry, too hot, and this ridge of high pressure holds strong through the start of next week. We're going to be approaching record values starting Thursday through at least Saturday. You see those highs within a degree of standing daily high temperature records. Friday and Saturday are best shot of setting or breaking the current record. Now through tonight, that maybe will make you feel a little better about our 110, right? When you see where we're going, but it's still really hot. Clear sky, calm wind tonight. But it takes us until 10 or 11 to even drop back into the upper 90s with our lows barely making it into the 80s. So that means a very warm start to your Wednesday morning as that excessive heat warning goes into effect at 8 a.m. A forecast high of 113 degrees tomorrow, almost 10 above the season.